Just been a little white bull, and now James Wade has been waving the red flag, and now one fancy sick, he has his sword poised for the kill. Excellent analogy. To hard out Tommy Steele. He has the little red bull. What? The little white bull. He's got it all to do now. Wade needs four more chalks. Terry has got one good thing going for him. He's up his average from uh, 88 to 92. But James has made a 96 average. Look, a, a doddle. A doddle aroma. Lovely adjustment with that dart, Dave. Yes, he's, he's playing with supreme confidence now. Jenkins will look back on this match, and unless there's an absolute miracle, well, look at those doubles that he missed. He's only hit six out of 21, and he's hit them and missed them at important times, Sid, and each time Wade has caned him. Dave bringing in words from the Charlie Alex era. Cane in the board was what they used to say, meaning hitting everything. Doesn't really mean the opponent, it just means you're dominating every One section minute, of the board. And he is Kane in the board. Now area of this board flusters Wade. Cruise into this title. 20 now. 100. Leaving himself double top. And once again, Terry Jenkins is chasing rainbows. 100. Double top for one more leg towards the title and the trophy and he picks it off with consummate ease. Well, I've got to get a bit of perspective, folks, so what I expect Sydney to do, not as good as he was yesterday, 6-1-80s and 102 average against the brilliant A.D. Lewis, but to come through a hard one like that and then a cream and a permanent like this says potential world champion as Sydney. 16. We've had a really outstanding week of sporting achievement here in Blackpool. I have to say, when we look at the strength and the quality of 16. our first round matches particularly, and I, I also think one of the main features of the week has been the contribution of Adrian Lewis, who really involved in two of the great matches this week. But this guy, Wade, 16. has been the standout man. Last night, he was right off the planet. I wondered if he could maintain that standard. He hasn't quite, but he's done more than enough. 140. There he goes then, James, looking there. So there's his girlfriend, Sally. I was going to say suffering. She ain't. She's looking forward to kissing him. Welcome. Yes, uh, Sally. Very few people know. She doesn't relish her trips to Blackpool because... She has a morbid fear of seagulls. In. <laughs> like no wonder. Out of an Alfred Hitchcock movie. That was the one the size of a pterodactyl sitting next to me when I had me pie on a bench outside for lunch. Just to keep in the match to its respectability. Double top. Yes. <laughs> But remember, Wade needs only three more chokes here at Yes, and James Wade will be calculating if he just wins the legs with the throw, that will carry him past the post. Excellent point from Div. He does not need to go for muck or nettles. Steady tonning on his own throw should do it. As Jenkins is no sign of him getting the requisite 102 average that he needs to catch Wade. So James Wade, 15 7 in front, needing 18 for 50,000 pounds. Jenkins off the pace in this one to that shot. Fourth on 80, but Wade on 98. Needs to get treble. 140. Two, just checking, Wade. 138 plays, 283. Yes, Wade, set a finish, and uh, Jenkins. 100.
can't finish in the next throw, so 138. Wade knows he's going to have these darts and will be back if he ne is necessary. 20 will leave him double top. Jenkins coming to the hockey, staring defeat again in the face. Nice. Right, what's 183? Slightly snatchy, second dart. No one here, the trouble not either. Just goes two away from the match. Wait once, tops on the way. It's a beautiful marker, though. Two lovely markers, just needs a dip, split millimeter. He hasn't done that much. So Jenkins now on 96, just a call one leg further back. Still needs a treble. Double eight, desperate darts from Jenkins, and then not good enough. To go two away from that title. And I had done before she's coming in, but she's mustered up big time. James composes, has a sip of water, comes to the hockey. She's tense. He's tense. Topsy once. That's a long way off. Double ten the red bit. Now this should feather the point. Brilliant shot! Use the marker! Perfect! Yes, and no wonder Terry Jenkins looks philosophical. That dart has put James Wade two legs away from victory. And the lads from Aldershot, so, so long the military headquarters of the British Army can hear the bugles blow, they're blowing charge, and it looks like they're going to be playing tunes of glory. Apt. Whereas this lad will be here in the last post fairly soon to continue the Maestro Lanning's musical analogy. Oh, he's going ballistic now. <laughs> oh, again! One of the best 180s of the tournament, dude! It really was eye-catching. 196 there. And, uh, well, there's tension within the Wade family group, but I think it won't be too long before it explodes in hysteria. Here, beautiful recovery dart. Match the power a year ago here. We're in the final for over 20 legs. Was nearly with the power before Phil pulled away. But no doubt, who's going to be hoisting the silverware? And maybe Sally will have some James polishing to do. 115 for James Wade. Might come for 19. Jenkins is on a finish. Double 19, once again, this would be... I don't know if he's going to go for it. Went for six and hit the double. So you require 164. Has to get a big trouble now, has to get a trouble. Vital dart. Six then. Well, he didn't really want to leave so this double. Still working it out. Yeah, he wanted 38, and he hit double six. Double 13. Five for double four to go to the hill, to go one away from the title, two fours. On the I way out. Well, uh, this is a moment that Terry Jenkins has got to grab. Treble 20. Uh, it's over the wire. Wade will be back. 64. Double four. To be one away. No twos. Yes. In the and that delirious face of Sully has got.